What does it tell you when everyone in Washington, D.C. will tell you that the immigration system isn't working, but it is not their priority to fix it? Here in New York, which is known as a sanctuary city, there's a new message for this influx of migrants that the city seems incapable of handling. We've got no more money for you, no hotels to put you in. It's expensive here, so go somewhere else. This from the city that is supposed to be the metaphor for the huddled masses, with Lady Liberty in its bay looking over the city as it fails. It's another reason our next guest, Michael Schellenberger, argues America has fallen and it can't get up. Michael is editor of the Substack Public, and uh, if he comes up with a great uh, gimmick for life alert for the entire country, he will be a gazillionaire because that's the <laughs> I've fallen and can't get up ad that he's talking about. Here <laughs> is what I want as our as our touchstone, uh, our, our starting point for this conversation, Michael Schellenberger. Um, AOC said something about how she views the migrant situation that I believe is at the heart of why the Democrats are losing on this issue. Here we go. And the numbers of when it comes to people coming to New York City today are nothing. I'm telling you nothing compared to the daily amounts of people that we saw coming in from through Ellis Island in the first half of this century. And we had seen just huge numbers of people coming in per day that ha that far eclipsed um, far eclipsed what we're seeing right now. Response. <laughs> well, good to be with you, Chris. I mean, the numbers are pretty clear. You know, it's been 3.8 million people have come in since Joe Biden took office. And I think, you know, one thing we know, the Democrats really take a lot of pride as progressives in compassion. It's a value that I know you and I both believe very strongly in. But we also need order in order to protect people. If you're pro-human, you have to be pro-civilization. And so, yeah, Ellis Island, I mean, certainly there was some brutalities then. But, I mean, we having, we're having women be sexually assaulted. They're dragging their children through barbed wire. There's a lot of other things going on that aren't even really... Uh, proper to discuss um, on air, but it's a bad situation. We're not able to absorb it. The mayor of New York has said very bluntly they don't have the shelter space that they need. Gavin Newsom of California has said uh, that he criticized the border policies. I don't think that most Americans look at what's going on and think that this is America at its best or this is how we should absorb people. Um, look, I'm pro-immigration. I think a lot of Americans want to see legal immigration. But the situation on the border is absolutely out of control. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.